Hey, what's going on? My name is Lord of Welcome back to Fast as Creed. Wow. Holla! Then, report back to Ronda Vidi. Ronda Heat. Uh, that fast travel? I ain't walking all the way there. You know, you could just keep my helmet on, because I like the- Oh, whatever, I'm keeping it off, I guess, because that's the way the game wants it to be played. All this plunder that must be plundered. Plunder. Well, while we're here, let's make sure that we get it straight. Stop what you're doing right now. And open up that, uh, 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 if you see that little lock button, I want you to hit right now. I want you to subscribe. And then after you subscribe, you hit that bell, because I said so. Now that we got that all settled out, welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We just sorted out some major issues, got ourselves a new ally. I do... Oh, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Raven Storm. <laughs> raven Storm. Storm and Raven. Raven. Ooh. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Try and stab me, I'll mess you up, little boy. Walking with the guy who's not freaking... I hear That's heaviness on. to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest Good for to which see I you. have no remedy. Up, Rest dude. easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got the brunt of that beating, but whatever. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Shouldn't I be doing it? Man, am my enemy? That was strength for What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. There's still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds. Steadies our hands and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. 
Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I don't know, I just still don't like jumping off a crap. Um, better jump with me though. I'm gonna jump by myself. Above him. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! He just wink at me? Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Ah! That was stupid. Why'd you ever yeah! do that? Yeah. A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest mer- Alright, cut himself off there. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. I don't care about all this crap. Aha! Oh wait, I don't even have any heavy weapons. Oh. Good day. What up, dude? Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona Soma has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. 
These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Alright. Where is child's eyes? What's up, dude? Can I talk to him? Her? Him? Whatever? Right. Stop. Move it. Move. Birna. Welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sunbeam. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We will be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl and I will be ready for the raids ahead. Why you gotta, why you gotta fight somebody? Just chillax. I mean, well, Vikings like to do that crap. Hey, who's this? You don't have a place? Should I build ye one? It's a lot of materials. What is this, a fish market? I ain't care about y'all that much. Hold on. Uh, what's this? Who said you could put any of this here? Oh. Good day. A new customer. I own the place. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? No, I speak for him. We come on behalf of a thousand ah. eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child? Yeah, a child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. I am not about to use a rock. Oh, wait. What is this? Uh, they better not expect me to pay real money for this. I'm be re Valkyrie left arm. Oh, that's a tattoo. I don't give it. Crap. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. 
First of all. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. Seems like a thing, dude. Where I go now? Hey, what up, little doggy? Who's your good boy? Or girl, or whatever. He's so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. It's adorable. Dude, like I care about any of these challenges. Ubisoft, get up, both green. Is the dog following me? Where do I go now? Um, I don't have to go see where uh, Crackhead is. I mean, my my brother is. I gotta upgrade my place, cause people will be upset if I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course, and your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This yeah. way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Following you, dude. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? No. Come. I this don't. way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Me? Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. They left so much meat on it. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe. 
our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. Okay, so this is gonna be one of those where we're showing off how good our so hunting skills are. So you saw are. White Elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Okay. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Kind of whack kills her. Ah, help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your oh, side. I'm already right, taking care of him, cuz. Go, boy. Miss Hunter Lady, it's one wolf. It's one wolf. Come on. I'm gonna let you take care of that one. You do it, cuz. You do it. One wolf, dude. Literally a wolf. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Fine, I'll take care of it for you. I gotta do everything around here. I don't make none of that dirty thing has ever been. Ah, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't... Oh! Oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This is grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. What are they kicking up? Alright. Ah, we did a thing. In the game. Move out of my way, you losers, you losers, you losers. Look at the puppy, it's a cute. Oh my goodness, it's a cute. How did it get so cute? Oh my goodness. Yeah. You look well. I want to see the alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. 
Hey. Go by sheep. I don't even know what my longbow is. How do I get out of this room? Then me and my men are off. Dan dan a ban dan a ban ban a ding. Hope you guys are ready. We are going out. They're off. How far up north is it? Or where is it? Is it, is it, is it what the? How do I even get there? So I'd either weasel away. I could go this way. That's a 90. They're Let's hear a story. Did I ever tell you all the story of how I killed an entire clan single-handedly with the broken hilt of a sword? Too often, dog. More times than any man can count. <laughs> Strike up a tune. Monastery bound to be rich pickings. Raiding time. Death. Death. We raid. <laughs> Take the plunder. Now find the rest. Uh, this is on such cows coming. Alarm. Let's <laughs> uh, 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 die. <laughs> Come on, men! We are just starting! Die, you Saxtons! Hey, fellas! Finisher! You're mine! No! No! Your good shout! We keep our wits about you! Won't take long! Remain steadfast! I got something for you. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Ah! Eek. Blood for Odin! my mark! Hey! Can't do this alone! She has an arrow in her back, but okay. So y'all better clear out. Oh, let go, let go, let go! All right, well, that helped. Hey, come here a moment!
Is there still more to kill? Yeah. Yeah. Got your belly, dog. That's the place where I murdered that dude. Die! Put an arrow in the dog. Get round the side. Sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, you dare interrupt me while I'm in my name and this stuff. Let's rip the dog off. Let's spill some in it. Yeah. Ah. You hit me and you die. Ow. Oh. Oh. That guy just got in my way and now he's dead. Unfortunate. There we go. Here's what I'm looking for. What the yeah. uh. Tunnel, okay. Book of Knowledge, new ability. Gotten all the spoils of this land. Get off my screen. How do I turn off these rewards? You know, you know Xbox. You know Xbox doing rewards. Alright, everybody back to the ship. Hey! Monastery there, Eivor! We literally just raided it. Calm down. Wait. Wrong, wrong, wrong way. No. Some time ago? I met a wandering skald in search of a Jarl or King to serve. He had not composed a verse in years, and was fearful of losing his skill. I said I knew many such great men, a few Jarls, a handful of Kings by name. But to my knowledge, all of them had many skalds of their own. This poor skald was disappointed and thanked me for my time, asking my name as he departed. Dog Nithison, I told him. The Skald's eyes went wide. Dog Nithison, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I nodded and said, The very man I am. The poor Skald sung to the skies with joy. You are a legend among legends, he said. Let me compose a verse for you, if I may. Imagine my surprise at hearing such praise. But I agreed. So he began. Yeah, this dude loves praising himself. Composing a most lovely verse on my behalf. Yes, a most lovely verse. Unforgettable, yes. And I will. Yes, I will recite it for you one day when we have time. <laughs> Look at these beautiful open waters. It is it, yes, a beautiful sight to see. Isn't it just a beautiful sight to see? Isn't it just a beautiful sight to see? Isn't it just a beautiful sight to see? Ding 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 But it is only a 20. And we could easily swoop down and do the thing and beat them up and then come back all around here and end up right away. Hang on! I'll kill you! Battle! Fiends! Oh, my wolves! Damn coward! 
stop and die! You can stop those things quick. Not like those. You are no match for me, Avo eh, Wolfkist. Your life for that! I don't know why you stood there and let me snipe you in the mouth. Could you not believe that I could tight rope and snap? Jokes on you, sir. I'm the greatest warrior that ever lived. I'm better than all the Vikings that ever have plagued this land. With their noobness. I'm the greatest Viking that ever to Viking. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! Get, get down there. Get. Will you drop down there? Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. A huntsman's cloak, eh? The huntsman's cloak, eh? You're Ooh, looks like fun on. Ow! Alright, fine, fine, fine. Play this game with me. Whoa, 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 Ah! I am a Viking and I will not die on this day. Ow. I learned him. Will I? It's one dude, dude. It's one dude. You're supposed to be like the second, my second best. Come on. Got other men to kill. God damn you! Split your skull! That's good steel! That's good steel! It is good steel. How do you, how do you like the way it tastes? <laughs> Together, lads, we have this! Feel my grip on your neck! Yeah. Can you fear that? It is your death near. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I missed. <laughs> Such a sad day. Can't beat us. Stay with me. Oh, what he thought. I up and kill him. Where's all the plunder? Don't like these places that have so many hidden entrances. What is this? I am pretty sure that's not the way you're supposed to use the lift, but... Oh, handle this! Blindside, idiot! Go ahead, handle me. If you can, what's a what's a what's a what's a what's a button? Dude. Dude, he he said he'd handle me. I'm just saying, he didn't, didn't at all. He actually didn't handle me whatsoever. I'm actually quite sad about that. Looking for a challenge. <laughs> Please let go.
We all rated well on this day. Yeah. Some sort of armed camp there. Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home. But my luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth, running no left to yeah, right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, for it was on its side. As I approached, the ground... The crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide as a lake and Set ringed the with color. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I it. was seeing. The eye of Jormungandr. We can continue later. Sail is ready when needed. All right, back to the story. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The Eye of Jormungandr, the World Serpent. Yes, hush now. Ah, where were you? Yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day, I will show you the place. <laughs> Is there a sea scald among you? Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. And this is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's horn. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the long Hanar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of Ingling for their dishonor. We looked outside and saw that Unar had severed one of the heads of the Ingling's horses and stuck it upon a hazel branch. When he saw us gathering at the door, the Ingling carls among us, Unar panicked and ran. He was not seen for many months. We will pick. <laughs> what the? It's like dove in the in the shallow water. Thing right here. We. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> 
Well, now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. Hmm? I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofred. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgred sent him. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. 
The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. <laughs> we have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Kingmaker Saga! What that means? A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Sure it is. It's a great place. Oh, I gotta imagine. Oh, right in there. You enjoy what you saw today. Just smack that like button. Uh, subscribe. Hit that bell notifications. Tell your friends about this channel and this playthrough. Is that all I have you do? Is that all you want to do? You hear me? Talking to you. Watching. Yeah. You, dude. Tell all your friends. Not just one of them. Every single one of them. And you know about this channel. Tell them all to subscribe and hit that bell notifications and to like all my videos. I'll talk to you in the next one. You better do it.